guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Camille Grammer says Andy Cohen and Bravo lied to her. Plus, Lala Kent and Vanderpump Rules News. Okay guys, it's that time again. Time to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I am absolutely in love, people, in love with Camille Grammer, okay? I love her. I love her because she is totally addicted, okay? Like, she needs some kind of rehab program. She's totally addicted to Twitter, okay? If she stubbed her toe, she would go to Twitter and let us know. I love people like that because as a blogger, you know, I don't have to do a lot of research. I just read what she says on Twitter. And she's talking again today, people. She's talking again today, okay? What is she talking about? So we all know yesterday they dropped the uh, trailer for the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And there was a lot going on in that trailer, people. A lot of beating up of Denise Richards, okay? I mean, I, I can't wait. I want to see how this goes. You know what we didn't see in the trailer? A lot of Camille Grammer, okay? And she's talking about it. She's not, she's not happy about it, okay? So she's on Twitter and a fan says... How much are you going to be on season 10 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? I'm very sad you're not a full-time housewife this season. Come on, Andy. Now, this person, this fan has a point here. Why isn't Camille Grammer a full-time housewife yet? Okay, I mean, they keep bringing her back, stringing her along. And after her performance on the reunion of last season, I feel like that whole cast attacked her, people. They attacked her, beat her up like she was no good. They should have brought her back as a full-time housewife, but they did it. And this is how she responded to this fan. She says, she says, being that I showed up for the reunion and brought the drama, I was disappointed that I wasn't asked back into a couple months into filming. She's right about that. Remember, the rumor was that didn't that uh, Kyle Richards got her fired and then all of a sudden they brought her back okay she said I was supposed to do confessional interviews but that is not what happened so I don't believe you will see much of me this season she goes on to say that Bravo made her a promise that they didn't produce okay and you know what I'm gonna interpret that to mean they probably were was filming the mean girls and they were all boring because you know they all had to be polite to each other now that they got rid of lisa vanderpump so they had to spice up the storylines they brought camille back to beef things up made her this promise oh we'll make you a full-time you know housewife or we'll give you a major part-time role but when they found out that Brandy and denise was hooking up they just threw their promise out the window now don't forget um Guys, that Bravo will chew you up and spit you out. If they don't need you, you know, bye, adios, sayonara. That's probably what happened, people. But, you know, I don't feel sorry for Camille, even though I like you and everything. I'm really thinking that when they did you so bad last season by having you be the entire reunion, okay, everybody in that reunion beat her up bad. When they did that to you, and then they offered to bring you back because, you know, filming was boring. You should have never came back. Should have held your ground like Lisa Vanderpump and said, to hell with the Royal Housewives of Beverly Hills. They're not using me, people. And you should have put demands on it. Like, I'm not coming back unless Vanderpump comes back. You know, you got to get picky. You got to be demanding. But if you continue to be their yes girl, you know, whatever they say, you say yes to, then they're never going to respect you. You know, they're, they're like the woman with the man who, you know, doesn't appreciate her until she's gone. That's how Bravo is. You got to, like, let them know what they're missing. You shouldn't have came back. But you did, and now they screwed you. And so, you know, you have to live with the consequences. But don't worry, they'll be back for more because how long can they beat up Denise? Probably just one season. After that, they got to find a new target and then they'll come crawling, you know, back to you asking for a favor again. And that's when you hold your ground. You say, I'm not coming back until I'm a full time housewife or until Lisa Vanderpump's with me. You know, that's your only ally. That's what I would do, you know, but you know, I kind of don't feel, you know, bad for you. Is that bad? I'm sorry, you had your shot. You could have pulled, you know, your seniority card by saying, mm -mm, I don't come back unless I get these things to happen and make sure that they happen. I'm sure you said, I'm not coming back unless, you know, I'm, I'm thinking it went this way. If you come back, we'll give you a full-time spot or, you know, a major 
part-time spot, but you didn't hold them to it. You know, you didn't get it in writing. Mm -mm. Every time Andy Cohen or Bravo says anything, you got to get it in writing. You know, they're a bunch of users and liars over there anyway to begin with. But, you know, lesson learned. I'm sure you'll learn your lesson the next time. They cannot beat up on Denise for an entire season without making up at the end, or she won't come back for another season. So don't worry, uh, Camille, they'll be back. Now let's move on. Now let's talk about Lala and 50 Cent. Okay, for, no, let me start with this. Has anybody, anybody noticed how boring Vanderpump Rules has gotten? Okay, they had a perfect formula and they messed it up, in my opinion. This is where they went wrong. They brought the new people on, okay, like a big handful of them. So many, I start forgetting names and stuff like that. They brought this, these new people on and then they kept the old people. Well, the old people didn't like the new people, so the old people thought that they had to outshine the new people, and start, so they started inventing stupid, stupid, dumb storylines, okay? Like, like Stassi not talking to Christian because she doesn't like her boyfriend. Who does that? That is the dumbest storyline I ever, ever heard of. Even worse would be Jax Taylor. Single-handedly, Jax Taylor has messed up Vanderpump Rules, okay? Not inviting his best friend to his wedding over something so trivial and stupid uh, because they heard rumors about the their preacher or the guy that was going to marry them is the the dumbest storyline in history it is so dumb so trying to mix the two the old with the new did not work they were going they're going to have to pick a side either we're going to focus on these new people and start to like them and care about them and oh, or you oh, don't bring them on at all because it caused causes the older people to invent stupid, stupid, lame storylines, in my opinion. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Let's talk about Lala and 50 Cent. Okay, so Jax was allegedly doing a live where he allegedly slipped up and made the announcement that Lala and Randall had moved back their wedding day, okay? He accidentally on purpose in my opinion you know he does everything for the cameras that guy is in love with the cameras he really is a jackass and driving me crazy like Brittany what were you thinking ew you married him ew but anyway so that forced Randall and Lala to come out and make the announcement that they pushed their waiting their wedding date back okay that cost 50 cents to respond to it he said no one was going to that shit anyway Thank you, 50 cents, for speaking the truth. I don't know what it is, if, it, if I'm being a stickler here, but when I come across a homewrecker, a person that breaks up another person's family, okay, that's what Lala is, people. I need what I call homewrecking space, okay? I don't get over it too easy. Like, I'm going to need at least a year, maybe two, to get over the fact that Lala busted up Randall's home. You know, she tries to say, can I really bust up home? Yeah, you can, okay? You know what you were doing to bust up his home, okay? You busted up his home. You busted up that marriage. And now you're walking around acting like you're Lisa Vanderpump in the making. You know, like, oh, I'm so classy now with his money like what have you done for yourself i need time and space away from lala so i'm glad that this marriage isn't taking place on the date that they wanted it to i hope it doesn't happen at all like no i, I i'm not team homebreakers like go away lala go bust up someone else's marriage like she is so proud that she busted up that marriage she is absolutely driving me crazy she has a sense of entitlement now like you know oh you know i have so much money it's not your money you well okay it's not your money yet but you made that money <laughs> by doing things that the rest of us wouldn't do okay you got my drift you know what i'm trying to talk about like la la shut up and go sit down somewhere the only person that can sh shut her up is 50 cents that's why i'm loving 50 cent like what made randall borrow money from 50 cent because that's where the beef stemmed he borrowed a million dollars from 50 cent and didn't pay him back like i would rather go homeless than to borrow money from 50 cents because he doesn't let anything go people if you apologize to him he still he won't let it go like you mess up with him one once he has he goes by the one and done rule one time and then mm -mm, he wants nothing else to do with you so thank you 50 cents you're the only person that can shut this woman up and like i said there hasn't been a peep 
nothing out of Lala or Randall. I mean, the last time that she tried to say something to 50 Cent, I mean, he just dragged her so bad. I'm sure Randall had to sit her down and say, listen, shut up. Don't mess this relationship up for me. So um, 50 Cent never is going to let up on her. Thank goodness. And I'm glad that she's not saying not one peep. Okay, not, not even, not, not, nothing. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, you guys, so that's my Real Housewives of Beverly Hills news that I have for you today. So what I want to know in my comments section is, what do you guys think about Camille not being on this upcoming season? And number two, does anyone out there feel about Lala the way that I do? Like, does anybody else can't stand her? Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. <music>